Hi, welcome to my shop again. I uh, want to do a little uh, Tuesday tip. Uh, quick little uh, thing. I had a recent question about how I sign the, the bottom of my vessels. Uh, I am doing now uh, interactive remote demos live with Lyle. Uh, as uh, individual participants, you can go on my website and sign up for a seat. Uh, look at the website for details. I'll be doing one about every two weeks now. I, I just did a, a little hollowing one with a thin-walled goblet last weekend. And in a couple weeks, I'm going to do one using the bowl format to talk about bowl gouge use. And so I uh, want to show you uh, what I do here. This is a, uh, just a side grain little hollow form. What I do is just use a vibrating engraver and kind of etch into the bottom underneath where the rim is, uh, the rim of where it's going to sit on the table. This is a, a walnut piece, and you'll see how it works on dark wood. It's subtle, but it's visible and uh, works on any kind of wood. Even on a black piece that I dyed with ink. So what I use is just a, uh, a vibrating engraver. And uh, this one happens to be just a, a cheapy little Dremel. Okay. And make sure that you wear your earring protection, but you can just write like a pencil. This is a piece of uh, unfinished maple. Here it is on a really an unfinished piece, but uh, it'll work fine. Okay, that, that's pretty subtle in its raw state. You put some finish on it and it pops up a little bit to make it more visible. Well, uh, that's uh, quick and simple and uh, permanent, so it uh, won't be affected by color or finishes, any kind of finish that you use. So uh, it works. Uh, that's what I like to do. So stay safe and keep in touch. See you next time.